by Santuzo. Um, I don't hear that they're in the over early. Um, again, Santuzo is basically leveraging the left-hand side of the course going up. 5.72 is right above them. So Santuzo actually has a little bit of speed advantage here. Uh, they're keeping their nose pretty clean. Um, 5.08 is basically, yeah, they're going to be clear in clear breeze soon as well. At this point, 35.25, if they manage to kind of knock down a little bit and go for speed just to cover 5.08 a little bit more, I think that would be more to their advantage. They'll also be gassing 3.55 a little better there as well. Um, and then that's Blue Jay, David Franzel. He is, you'll remember, he was on the, he wanted the middle of the uh, line and uh, he owns it and he's actually doing really well here. Um, the uh, other boat we're going to look around for is Phoebe and we'll see how they ended up uh, in, in their start. I believe that's Phoebe there. In, uh, no, that's Dave Bryan on 2508. So, oh, uh, Phoebe is uh, dead. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, Phoebe, thank you, Phoebe, for pointing out Phoebe. Um, Phoebe is actually right there on the left hand side of the course, right in front of us. So it basically looks like the three people that finished the first race in the, in the top three are in the top three leading to this uh, windward, uh, windward mark here. Uh, so we're basically going to follow up the fleet, um, see if there's any interesting situations, and we will report um, after um, uh, at the windward mark. Um, all right, so I cannot see this. This is 3760, high speed bed. Um, no, this is the Capo. Uh, pretty decent voice. Hopefully, they'll, yeah, they got it up all the way. Nicely done. All right, so um, the rest of the fleet coming in here. Oh wow, this has changed quite a bit. Um, that's Dave Bryan, you'll remember he was in the lead, now he is fourth. And Mike Cannon in fifth. Okay, so that's Stiletto, uh, Malcolm Gafter, they're having a couple of issues with their kite. Um, hopefully they'll be able to get it up and going soon. Um, we're going to scoot around over here, Da Capo, uh, uh, no, I'm sorry, this is Phoebe in sixth, and Wasabi in seventh. And that's Dave Frenzel in eighth. Um, he was tacked on a few times, unfortunately. Uh, that's a very nice hoist by Dave Frenzel and his team. You notice the kites up, jibs down, um, and they're basically three, four bolt legs off the uh, off the windward mark. Uh, all right, we're at the windward mark. That's Dave Ryan in second. The Capo is in first. Uh, so Dave Ryan has moved up in the uh, in the, the the standings a little bit. We're, uh, we'll just tape a couple of takedowns here. Um, We've moved the, uh, the, the left-hand gate up a little bit, but it still doesn't seem to be very popular with the fleet. Alright, and then we look like... Uh, no, no situations here either. Um, Alright, Dave Bryan in first. Amazing. Who knew? He had it in him. Um, crew actually is doing a very good job of setting up. Let's see how they do for, go for the hoist. Hoisting right at the offset. Really nice. Sorry for a quick spin here. This is uh, Phoebe in second. Very nice job by these guys. And then uh, let's go back here. All right, so uh, Dave Frenzo has actually done a pretty good job of uh, making up uh, his way through the ranks. Um, he is now in fifth place by a hair. Um, the Capo here uh, rounding in third. That's Matt Flynn doing bow on Mike Cannon's boat in fourth. Dave Frenzel in fifth. Uh, I would say that Dave Frenzel is probably the best sets uh, of the uh, of the day. Again, this is the second rounding of the uh, second race. All right, not a whole lot of crazy stuff going on around here. Um, except for this situation here between Warp Drive and Raw, I believe it is. Oh, and now they have a third boat in there as well. All right, Warp Drive's making it out of there okay. Um, 575 has to peel out, so does, I believe that boat is raw, 508. 
Adam Berry here on 403. Yeah, that's a brave soul not wearing any socks. All right, we're going to make our way downwind. All right, boat number one and boat number two are uh, at the leeward marks. That's Dave Bryan on the right going finally, yes, for the uh, left-hand gate, which we actually moved up. That's actually, I think at this point, a slight bit uh, favored. Um, that is Phoebe rounding um, the uh, other gate. And um, we're going to follow these three guys in right here. So that's the Capo, Mike Cannon, and Dave Frenzo. That's Dave uh, Bryan who tacked over and he is going for the committee boat end. Uh, we moved the, uh, the pin up as well, so the line should be pretty square. That's the Capo tacking as well. Uh, it looks like, as opposed to that, uh, that left shift, Dave Bryan is in a massive righty here. He's sailing deeper into it. Again, you'll remember he was in the lead uh, number two boat uh, at the uh, at the gates was uh, Phoebe, there by the Hyatt, and now the Capo seems like they're basically uh, neck and neck with them. And Mike Cannon is in fourth place. It looks like in this case, um, 25 uh, Phoebe, which is 25-35, um, though they have lost a lot of their uh, lead to uh, the Capo, they actually have a, they're in slightly better breeze. We got this new breeze line coming down right now. Um, I think the Capo, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, the Capo's tacking to get into it, um, but uh, PB's been in that for a while. Um, oh, that is unfortunately not one of their finest moments there on the Capo. That is a very, very slow tack, which basically gave um, the lead to uh, Phoebe. Um, it looks like, well, they're, they're completely solid. They're having an issue, and it looks like Mike Cannon's just overtaking them as well. Um, it's really impressive to see um, how much leeway you get on these boats before the boat starts moving forward. Uh, now they're back up to speed. Alright, so that was Dave Bryan finishing first. Um, and that is going to be... Uh, TV second. Run, uh, over to TV no problem. Roger, roger. All right, not a whole lot to report here, so we're going to turn the camera off and uh, make fun of DB uh, for uh, ripping a kite. 